to our channel. My name is Whitney and today we're going to show you how to properly inspect a flange face using the P3GIT. Let's get started. GIT stands for Gramophone Inspection Tool. This tool helps you identify whether or not your flange passes inspection. As you can see, this one is used on an 8 inch 150 or an 8 inch 300 pressure class. The cutout window mimics where the gasket sealing surface will come in contact with the flange face. The cutout area is the most critical area for inspection on the flange face. Any damage found in this area could result in possible refacing. However, any damage on the outside of the window is acceptable and will pass inspection. The marks on the side of the GIT tool are in 10% increments that represent the gasket sealing surface. Refer to the ASME PCC-1 table for heavy, moderate, and light damage percentages. We are using the GIT tool to show how a spiral round gasket would sit on the flange face surface area. You want to start by lining up the top of the tool with the raised face of the flange. We are drawing where the gasket would sit on the flange face to see if the imperfections are on the critical surface area. Next, we're going to mark any visible damage and use the tool to see if it is within the critical gasket sealing surface. As you can see, this damage does not fall inside the window, so this imperfection would pass inspection. Here, we are marking more imperfections using our tool to see if it falls on the gasket surface. Both of these imperfections would not pass inspection because they fall in that critical surface area. And the damage extends below the base of the serrations. These would cause this flange to need to be refaced. As a wrap up, these spots would not pass inspection. This one would pass inspection. And this one has no visible imperfections. All right guys, that's it. Make sure when you're in the field using this, you're following all HSE safety guidelines. See you next week.